Hi everyone. I got a request to do some daisies. So I'm gonna draw step by step with you. So follow along. Um, when I do flowers, I always look at what's in front. I mean, basically anything. So I'm looking at the shape of each petal and I'm looking at um, the curve that goes kind of like inside. This is actually where the center is. And this petal actually comes out at you a little bit. So it's gonna look like it's much shorter than it actually is. It has a little tip on it right there. Okay, so it's something like that. And you know, sometimes you get a little bump on the side like this, okay? And the center of this daisy is not exactly circular. So it's more of an oval. So something a little more like that. And I'll tell you, the thing about flowers that makes them really interesting and good when you're drawing and painting them, doing things like that, is if you have imperfections. So when you're drawing, just kind of think to yourself, it's not just a flower that kind of comes out and goes around that center circle, because this is a daisy and it does have that kind of center circle. One petal overlaps the other petal. So these are the ones that are going to look a little shorter because they're coming out at me a little bit more. Okay, and again, rather than just coming back down, you know, maybe it waves just a tiny little bit. Okay, now some of these kind of curve, the petal actually curves like this, you know, so it would have a little bit of shading in this area and it kind of would have something like this. Okay, we'll do some of that stuff afterwards. All right, now I'm gonna bring up some petals here. All right, up. And then I do see at the tips of these, they have a little bit of a tip that kind of falls over a little bit and comes back and lays behind, okay? And then you're gonna have the smaller, some of them like in the, in the, the next to the center of your flower, this one starts. Look at always where they start from, from the other petal that you've already drawn and see how it comes back and look and see if it looks like it's narrower down towards the center of your flower. A lot of times it is. Now this one's starting to come back. Up a little straighter and then up at the top, it kind of turns down a little bit. And again, try not to make it so perfect. You know, some, some of them actually are quite perfect. Um, but if you have these little imperfections in your flower, it is going to make it more realistic, like I said earlier. Okay, bring one up. This one's kind of like almost in the center. So I always like to start back down here because I feel like it gets I can see that it gets thicker kind of in the center there. Okay, and then the lines. You can see these lines really good in this one. And if you're looking at how the lines go, like these are kind of giving you an idea about how the flower is sitting. Okay, we can do those afterwards. I have one that is starting from the center and it's coming out a little more like over to the side. And I'm gonna show you something that I do sometimes um, when I have a lot of petals. And I have this one overlapping, the next one. This is one of the ones that you can see a lot where it doesn't turn as much as the other ones. So, you see how I'm not even finishing off this petal over here. So I'm gonna come closer, and then it comes out a little thicker, and then it's gonna turn and kind of go back a little bit. Okay. So this one, I could see basically the full petal, and you can kind of see how I wrapped around a little bit, and this is gonna have some nice shading later. The shading is just really going to make it, um, you know, it's going to make it stand out. It's going to make it really beautiful. 
So now I can put the rest of this one in because this one was tucked behind and you can kind of see like where it comes off of the other petal. So when I come back up, I'm going to bring it up and this kind of comes over like that a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to have some of those lines in there. We'll get those afterwards. Okay, now I'm going to skip a little spot here because I do see that this one, the next one is really underneath. So I'm going to start to do the next one that kind of comes out. And how far does it actually come out? So I can kind of look. And if I did a straight up and down line when I'm looking at a photo, I can see like this petal comes out about as far as this one here. So I'm going to kind of go straight down and I'm just going to put a mark where I want that petal to come out to. So I, you see my little mark here. So this bends, kind of comes around, and then it bends down, okay? And my next petal is quite big because this one's coming out at me a little bit. So I think that this one's gonna be just a little tiny bit shorter than the one I just drew. So I'm gonna have it come from here come around like this and it looks like it's a little thicker in this area. So I'm going to come back because I can see the full, I can kind of see the full petal. And if you see, I'm starting from like an angle there um, rather than going straight down. Like if I kind of went like this, I'm starting from an angle a little, a little bit and then I'm coming down and around and that's going to be my thicker petal. That's kind of like in the front. Okay. Gives it a little kind of push down and this should actually kind of tuck back like that okay now i can do the rest of this one it just tucks right underneath like that okay and i can get this one because it starts down on here this is where you're always looking where does it start on the one that i just drew and there's a big v i can see that's in between there so here's my big v Okay, right there. And this one is shorter than all these. And it kind of tucks behind, something like that. Okay, there we go. Okay. So now I've got another petal coming from the side here. So it's going to go like right by the side of this one and it's coming to, it's going to come down, but it is going to coming down Okay, and take in a little bit and then it is going to tuck behind this one. And I really think that there's a big shadow is what it is like on all this part here okay there we go okay now there's one that's tucked behind here Okay, and now I have some that are coming from here. So these ones are looking a little smaller, I'm seeing. So I've got something that kind of, it doesn't come all the way. So if I kind of came over straight from this one, it comes to about this area. So I'm gonna bring that back. It almost looks like, I don't know, it's one of those inside ones. And then I have a longer one that looks like it's kind of coming from behind. And this one almost looks like it's sort of like the side of it a little bit because it comes kind of straight down like that and then just kind of loops around. Okay. Now I also do have, now these are, this is going to be my second layer because I'm seeing all these petals that when I did my first layer, all the things in the front are going to be drawn first. So it's like when you do things, you got to, you got to kind of look at that. 
which ones are in front and then which ones are behind and it'll give you more of an idea of how to draw it. All right, now we've got, this one looks like it's, I kind of like these because this kind of curves over like this and it comes back. This gives a little bit of detail that's kind of rolling over. Watch this in a second. And then I've got like the rest of it kind of coming from over here like that. So it kind of looks like it's kind of rolling up like that. Okay, and then I've got like another sort of longer one goes out over there. Okay, now uh, back behind here, I have a few petals that I can see. Um, not a whole lot that are really, uh, are really popping up behind this one. I see some here. So we're going to go like this. This one looks like it's almost got a little tip to it. So I'm, I'm really kind of drawing what I'm seeing in here in this picture. And what I like to do is, you know, pick a picture um, that, that you find a lot of daisies in and then you pick one out of there you pick up one out of a different photo and um, then you get the idea of like kind of making your own composition rather than taking somebody else's composition from a photo all right i've got one that's back here this one's pretty tall okay i've got another one here and I do like the idea, I always like the idea of something falling right off the page and then just bringing it back. Okay, and I got a, here's a little guy that was kind of stuck behind this one. And I like to do these things because again, remember those little imperfections are going to make it good. Oh, this one's got some nice... Okay. And then there are, let's see, we've got some real dark area on this. This one is a little skinnier. And that one is quite dark. And actually, I'm going to start to, I'm going to start to do this because it'll start to take shape. Like, I'll understand when I go back. It's going to show, like, right where that petal there's a line almost cast a shadow on it more of these behind and I do see these like this is basically full I like where I have a little space these little V's there do something like that okay and we've got this big one and then there's one here that is very dark. It's kind of like that one. So I'm going to bring this out and notice kind of like where I'm, where I am. Again, I'm going to do this V thing. So think of a sideways V and how it comes out and then back tucking underneath this one. Okay. So now this is casting. This has got a huge shadow on it. And I, it goes on like some of it. So it doesn't actually go on the entire petal. But I'm going to just shade that in right now just so that it, you know, once you get lots of petals on, certain uh, flowers are very easy to draw because you can count each petal if you wanted to and go around and get the perfect amount of petals. But sometimes like with flowers that have a little more, 
you'll lose track a little bit of where you are. So this kind of marks it so you know where that real dark spot is. Um, underneath this one here, this is a real dark spot. So it's between those petals, the one that's completely on top and the one that's underneath. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of fill it a little bit. And when it comes up to the tip, we're gonna get a little bit lighter towards the tip. And then it actually, like I can see where it just ends. So there must be some really um, strong sunlight on there. Okay, like that. All right, and I didn't see when I went around earlier that there is a big petal behind this. So from this little one that, that we had over here, there's a big petal coming underneath this one and it, it comes down like lower. Okay, like that. And I wanna go a little in more just because it's like, you don't wanna uh, have like a continuation of a petal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it about right there. We're drawing it, we can do it any way that we want to. Okay, and then I'm gonna have that front petal pop out by popping the, the shading into the back petal, the one that's underneath it. I'm gonna pop that front petal out by shading this area, and this is what it has on my photo. And it's very strong right there. Again, so you start off really pushing with your pencil quite dark. Okay. And there you go. I'm kind of fast, so I'm going over this edge that I shouldn't be going over. There we go. Okay, now one more. <laughs> I keep seeing these extra ones now. Okay, there's one more nice big one over here. And that comes down. Okay, something like that. And this one's got quite a shadow right here because it's popping out the one that's on top here. So it's got quite a shadow there. And flowers are really fun to draw, I think, because it's like if, if it's a little different, it's not going to matter. These are organic shapes, you know, a lot different than drawing somebody's face. If you drew somebody's face and you had it a little off, it definitely matters. That's the difference between people. So flowers, we're not gonna really know the difference. If they're slightly off, okay. Now, um, the center. The center, I like to um, actually kind of do these little, this little, these little area. Okay, so I can see on this side of the flower, this side here, I can see, and I, and I kind of like to make sure that this is a really it's not a solid line. Like it's more of a kind of organic shape. An organic shape is just like any kind of like little edge that's not so hard. Like don't have a hard edge against this part of your flower here because this is this is the side where you can actually see these little yellow, like almost, they're almost like little small flowers. So some of them I'm gonna push a little harder with my pencil tip and some of them I'm not. So you can look at your photo that you're drawing from and you can see where are some areas that look darker. Okay, and then you're gonna you're gonna put your darker areas in there and kind of keep these little kind of squiggly marks. Okay, here's my darker area down in here. Okay, all darker. And that's kind of going up and around this a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna carry off into 
like a little lighter area. And some of this in here would have a little bit of darkness. So you want these, again, little imperfections. Okay. And since we're just drawing like a real, just a sketch, um, you know, we might not finish up all of these because some of the area that's pretty light, you, you make a suggestion. So you'll see what I'm doing here. So I'm not going to really finish all of those little, all of those little marks. Okay. Like some area I could leave where it's just kind of like the white of the paper for a sketch. All right. And some I'm going to push. And I'm going to make it a lot darker, like in this area right here. Okay. And these are a little tighter. These are a little looser on the edge. Okay, and I'm going to... You get the little motion, the little squiggly motion with your pencil and you'll get that good. I'm going to give this a little like a turn, almost like a little frowny kind of there. So yeah, just like that. You see what I just did? Okay. Now let's get a few of these. I mean, we could leave it like this, but I'd, I'd like to put, I always like to put a little more detail on it. Okay, now this edge is on top. Do you see that? And that's underneath. So I'm going to go a little darker here. Okay. And leave that a little lighter. All right, I see in this area it's kind of darker, going, kind of going in, I think, curving. Alright, a few more. We're going to put some little touches of lines and shading on and then you can finish it up on your own. Just keep going around. And again, I feel like I need a little more. Here's the thing too, you can sort of shade in. Okay, I still am doing little twisties. You know, when you're shading, it doesn't always have to be just back and forth. Okay, and like I said, some areas are going to be left quite light. And where my finger is right now. And you do those things and they'll start to pop out on you. Because remember, something's rounded. You're going to have a highlight. Okay, highlight on some of your leaves. Nice contrast between the light and the dark. Just um, have fun with it. You know, I really love to kind of get into this and I, right now I feel like I want to get into um, my blending stump. Okay, remember right towards the center. It's nice to get this little, you know, this, these, um, especially like the sides that are kind of like curved up a little bit. You want to get these right here shaded. Just these lines that are darker lines right in this area. And it'll, it'll really look like it's pushing out, you know, coming up and over, not flat. You don't want it to be like so flat. Okay, so you want it to come up and over, and that's what these curved lines help do.
and you know maybe you want um, some maybe you want some nice leaves by it maybe you want another flower by it but there's your daisy okay good luck